from Boys and Girls Hairstyles. Today I have Taylor with me. Um, this is actually my best friend's um, son. And so it's been fun to watch him grow. Now he's a man. It's kind of sad and weird, but it's awesome. <laughs> okay, and it, he's so awesome to let me um, record this. So Donnie out there, he's been asking, um, he perms his wife's hair. So I know that this can be different, obviously, than a woman's hair, but I wanted to show you guys how to roll a perm, um, obviously with a lady, you're going to kind of do it however they, they style their hair. Um, now for his hair, you can see that we're gonna reperm this. Um, we're going a little bit higher than we have been, um, which is good, it's, it's nice because when his hat sits here, then the curls are there, right? But we're gonna go a little bit higher. So I've been going about here, so the first thing you're gonna do is obviously do your parting. Now, um, say you wanted, you know, you're doing a lady's perm or a guy's perm that is all over the head. I always start back here anyway. So I'm gonna show you guys this first. You doing good, Tay? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> He's like, uh, we just got started. Hopefully I'm doing good. <laughs> okay. Gonna hold this out of the way. And come over here. So like I said, even if I'm doing an all over perm, I always go from ear to ear. First off. Now, for a guy, if you're just wanting the bottom here, you don't have to go this high. But once I cut it in, it really is a good, um, a good place to have your perm. Now, I'm going to do a gray rod. So this is going to um, make it more curly. If you're wanting it a little bit looser, you obviously go up in size. Some people like to alternate. Um, for a little bit tighter and then not, you know, just alternate, alternate, but Taylor, we like to do the gray. Okay. Now this is another thing you're going to want to know. You're going to do a section about as, as wide as the curler is. Okay. You don't want to go bigger or less than your curler. Okay. Cause if you go less, they're going to be binding up on each other. If you go more, you're not going to get the curl um, really even. Okay, so I was just showing you that. Okay, and then obviously you're not going to want to go as wide as the curler. Okay, all right, now um, I'm going to show you guys these. These are called Perfect Papers. Um, I love, love these. They, they do come in. Um, a little box that you can push down and it'll pop up. Um, my box is messed up right now, so I'm not using that. But it is definitely nice to have. Okay, so I'm holding straight out from the head. I've wet this down. I'm going to put this curler, okay, and I'm going to hold it and then I'm going to twist it. Okay, and you're going to twist together twist together. Okay, you don't want to go every other one, um, which I'll show you in just a second when I get to the longer area. Okay, then you're going to go to the next curler. Same thing, you don't want to get, get it too, too thick or too wide. Okay, and then you take the end wrap. These are called end wraps or papers. Okay, I'm gonna set that, place it this way, and then I'm gonna spray it down, and then I'm gonna hold it out. Okay, grab the curler, make sure there's no end sticking out there, and you're gonna roll with your fingers 
together. Not every other one. And like I said, when I get down here, I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, another little section. Okay. Underneath. Then roll, roll, roll. Just comb that hair out. Okay. Gonna put the end wrap there. Spray it down. Grab another roller. Okay, so right here, you're gonna roll that and then roll, roll, switch your thumbs, roll, thumb, thumb, roll, thumb, thumb, roll. Okay, the reason you wanna do that together is so you don't get the, the curl uneven, So, um, which I'll explain that right now. Okay. I'm gonna wet this down. Grab another curler. So, and hopefully I can even try this because I'm such in the, the habit of doing it together, but so say you went like one, some, some people like roll like this and it's uneven. So it's like loose here, but tight here. Um, so I tried to kind of show you how that can be done sometimes. Like I said, I'm, I'm kind of in a habit of rolling it together. So it's hard not to roll it together. Um, but if you can, it will be rolled a lot more even if you uh, twist your thumbs together. So again, I'll show you that. Come underneath, roll that, twist, thumb, thumb, twist, thumb, thumb, twist. Okay. And I like to just leave these black, the elastic part or the rubber part across the top. Okay, one more. Okay. Roll, roll, thumb, thumb, roll, thumb, thumb, roll. Okay, now we're gonna start over here. All right, we're going to grab the end wrap paper. Okay, put it on there. <laughs> Maybe if I can grab it. Okay, here we go. Okay, pull this out. Roll. We have these little hairs here that's coming down in, in for the haircut. So I will blend those when we cut the back of it. And you'll have those, you know, shorter ones sticking out, especially if they're, they're going with more of the mullet. So okay, then. Again, I'm going to come underneath, together, together. Okay, I'm going to do that one again because the shorter hair is poking out of this one. And if that happens, you can use another paper. stayed in that time. If not, you can use another end paper, stick it on the hair that is um, poking out. Okay, now this is the thing too on 
a perm, um, you want to come straight out from the head. Um, like you don't want to, you know, come all the way down here and roll it up or you, you know, don't want it all the way up, which up here, you're obviously going to start up, but you want to come straight out from the head. So it's even when you roll. And Taylor's got this down. He's patient. He just, he's done this a few times now, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now we just have him on reoccurring appointments and keep the curls. It's great. Okay, now this last side. And if there's spots that you need to do, if their head is wider this way and you need to go four curlers across, then, then that is great. Okay. I'm holding that hair out. Okay, I'm gonna go underneath these little hairs. They're obviously not going to stick in with those longer ones. Nope, we're going to do that one one more time. Thought we could pull those few little hairs out, but... I'm just going to try to keep that tight so we don't have these little hairs. Sorry, Tay. Mm -hmm. There. Okay, sweet. Now, I like to wet it down before I slide it out so the hair doesn't slide out of the curve. Okay, now that one stayed in. Okay, the end wrap. Thumb, thumb, roll, thumb, thumb, roll. Okay. Again, and you'll get used to this, the thumb, thumb, roll thing. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of fun. Taylor and and his mom, um, well, Taylor's mom, let's put it that way. <laughs> I met her in fifth grade, and we have been best friends ever since. So, and we're 43, so <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, so see how this one's sticking out? I'm going to put this end wrap on there. Okay, and then I'm going to twist and roll that hair in. Okay, now last one. Oh, that one doesn't have an end. Okay. 
Okay, sweet. All right, so you can see it looks like I need one more roller here, one more curler. So I'm gonna do just a little one right here. Okay, I just feel like it'll be more even if I do a little one here. And you can kind of, you know, see with which one you, like what you're doing, if you need another one or not, so. Okay. One more, and that's the thing too, especially if you have short hair that you're dealing with. Um, you're probably gonna put in a curler three or four times, especially if you're just learning, um, because keeping that hair in, and anyway, it, you might do it a few times, and that's okay, because it happens. Okay, so now, the next thing I do, put my cotton around. Okay. Then I always put a towel. He loves this part. Gets all drenched. No, I'm just kidding. And then I always hand my client a towel. Okay, so there's your towel. Now, um, Quantum Firm Options. I love oh, these perms. I've used lots of perms before, but these I love. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my scissors. Sorry, these are the scissors that I open these with. Um, Okay, the waving lotion, I just cut the top off. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna come over, back and forth on each rod. Now the waving lotion will open up the, the hair strand um, and we're gonna leave this on for 20 minutes. And then after the 20 minutes, then we will rinse. And then after that, we're gonna towel dry, just blot. Um, the curlers out to where they're pretty nice and dry. Not totally dry, but not damp. Um, you want them as dry as you can get them. Okay, so after that, then I'm going to cover. which bottoms are kind of tricky, so I like to kind of bring it up on the top. Just pull it tight on top of their head. Okay, so you can see. And then I always like to tell my clients if, if they feel any itchy, burning, anything like that, to let me know. And then I take water, um, and wash it. So anyway, okay, we're gonna leave this for 20 minutes and then I'm gonna rinse him and towel blot him. And then we're gonna put the neutralizer on and let it sit for five minutes. And then I will show you after the neutralizer, um, we just take the, the curlers out and rinse. So anyway, we will show you that in a minute. Thanks. Okay, everyone, so we have let this sit for 20 minutes. Um, now you'll want to check it, okay? So take the Garbage. Okay, now I just want to check this. I'm going to turn his head. I'm just going to show you. You don't take it all the way out. You're going to just like come one, make sure that it's, see how it's not bending. So I'm going to leave it another minute. Um, when it starts bending and, and look, I'll try one right here. We'll do this one down here. Okay, see how it has a, a curve? That, that's good, okay? Um, I'm gonna check another one over here. See, see it's still not like, has, has the bend in it quite, quite yet. So I'm gonna leave it another couple minutes and then what I'm gonna do is rinse it. I'm gonna obviously check it again, but I'm just gonna lean him back, um, rinse it for a few minutes and then 
I will towel dry him um, and then we'll put the rest on. So um, we'll see you in a couple minutes. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just let the, the neutralizer stay for five minutes. Um, and then if we see that it's ready, then we will go ahead and rinse it. So we'll see you in a minute. Okay, you guys, so we are back from waiting five minutes. Um, I'm gonna just show you how to check this, okay? So come down, grab the, the rod. Okay, now bring it out. Okay, see how that is like a nice S? It's wavy, you can see that. That means it's done, okay? You can see that. Um, now, if it didn't, if it didn't show the bend like this, then I would leave it on a couple more minutes. Um, but that obviously is bending great. So what you want to do is if, if it bends good and it's curled, then you take the rods out. And obviously when you take them out, take them out as softly as you can. You don't want to like pull them out. Okay, so I'm just getting the rest of these out over here. Um, another tip like I was talking about, so don't wash two to three days. Yes, you can get it wet, um, but you do not want to, like say you was a girl, you don't want to pull this up in a tight pony. You just want to leave it alone. I always tell Taylor, you know, don't put like hats over it. Like do not put any pressure, just let it like sit and firm for a couple days, so, or harden. Um, okay, now we are going to rinse with cooler water, and what that does is it seals the cuticle. So anyway, we are going to do that, and then um, we will show you the end result when we are done. Thanks. Okay, you guys, we are back. I'm gonna turn Taylor around so you can see his curls. It turned out so, so good. Um, one thing that I did want to mention was, which I should have at the first of the video, I'm sorry, but um, before you perm, you're gonna want to use a clarifying shampoo um, and don't use conditioner before you roll. So anyway, clarify the hair good t twice, I always do two times, um, that will definitely help. So. Anyway, thank you, Taylor. Again, it's so cute. I love how it blends here in the back. Um, it's just darling. So I guess I shouldn't say darling for him. But anyway, <laughs> he's darling. Okay, well, thanks you guys so much. I hope this helps. If, if you have any questions, um, let me know. I'd love to help you. Thanks for your support. See ya.